Good morning. Today is a very big day because it's the first time that I'm going to be going out on the bike. Properly this year, isn't it? Since moving? So since moving and returning to England, I just basically quit cycling because it was cold and we were busy and I just didn't fancy cycling at all. I think because we did so much of it, I was over it. And mo mainly though, because it was just so cold. And I'm a wuss, I'm a fair weather cyclist and I really, really struggle to find the motivation to go outside when it's raining and it's like one degrees because I just don't have time for that. And having said that, today, was supposed to be really sunny and nice and it's saying it's two degrees. But, oh thanks for that, did you hear that? Alex just farted. We've been, every week we've been saying, we're gonna go on a bike ride, we're gonna go on a bike ride and then it rains or it's freezing cold or we're busy and something comes up. And today I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and I literally couldn't be happier. So what better way to celebrate than go on a really fun bike ride. So I really want to go out and I'm craving it. And also let's just talk about the fact that I've hit 100,000 subscribers, that is mental. That is so crazy. I'll talk about it a bit later, but thank you so much for subscribing to my channel because it means the world and I can't believe that I made my dream a reality. And I used to think 100,000 subscribers is such a huge deal and that means you've like, you know, you've made YouTube your career and it's something that's really like serious. And I did it and I can't get my head around it. It's really bizarre. But thank you if you're subscribed to my other channel. Thank you so much. I'm feeling very happy and grateful today. Alex, you're looking good. Thank you. You're nice and warm. Yeah, I am. I've got this Same. nice fluoro jacket that I got from Aldi that is actually probably one of the best purchases out of all the bike kit I've ever bought. Because my jersey that I got that's really kind of quite expensive, I hate it. <laughs> this was from Aldi and it looks brand new. Like it doesn't age, does it? The scuffs. Oh, there's, yeah, that's kind of just bike grease. You can't help that. But like it still feels, you know you have a jacket and it just still feels brand new and super high quality. And Alex got me this when I first started cycling and I wore it every day to work and it's just the best. And um, I've got my like thermal leggings on and some fluorescent socks and we're ready to go in a second. Just having a quick breakfast of my little brownies and bliss balls and we're sharing the smoothie. And Alex is having these little pastry leftovers. I want to have them, but the last couple days I've eaten a lot of gluten and it gave me serious bloat every evening. And I'm not someone who's really sensitive to gluten, but if I eat too much of it, I am. So yeah, that wasn't fun. So I'm trying to avoid it in a minute. It helped last night. What are you looking for, mate? The spare bits for your mudguard. Hmm. I have spares for absolutely every bike part you could imagine, except the one thing that we need. Well, do you want to just take it off because it's not raining? Well, I was yeah, I'm going to do that. I just thought I might have it here somewhere. My mud guard, you can't see it, but the mud guard has come off and it goes when you cycle. So it's very loud and annoying. I mean, I could leave it. I'm not that bothered. Well, is it muddy at Devil's Dyke? It is. Oh, maybe just leave it on then. Well, I don't think it's that noisy. I'm being dramatic. Ready? Yeah. Okay, these are my ones, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Ready to go. It's really cold. And I'm surprise, surprise, waiting for Alex. It's been so long, I'm always scared about this situation. Clipping into here. I know it'd be fine, but I'm a bit, bit like, ooh, am I gonna fall off? Okay, clippings are fine. <laughs> and we're off. This is so great, it's so sunny, oh my gosh. We're here. Much better view than last time, eh? Oh my god, it's so nice. So sunny, isn't it lovely? It's nice and warm. 
and the view is incredible. I mean, I can't see anything, <laughs> but the view is so good. So I've been up here quite a few times, but Maddie hasn't. No, I brought the fun. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't been with the view yet, have you? No, I've never been up here on my bike. This little trusty guy. Girl. Girl. <laughs> so cute. When we were cycling up the hill, I, Alex was like, oh, here it is. I was like, what? Is that it? I thought we were just getting started. It's so yeah. weird cycling um, in England. Cause there's like, I'm just, we were just, so, the last time I was cycling a lot was in Thailand. Yeah. And it was just mountains, like hill after and hill after last. hill. And the hill would get steeper and steeper and steeper. And it would last an hour. And it would last an hour. And this is like a tiny little gradient for like That's 10 cool. minutes. Next time we can go down there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's a good 20, 30 minute climb. Cornwall's also really great for hills. I feel like it's hit a lot hillier than... Yeah, the... it's quite... Because obviously ones. on the edge of the country, it'll be hillier by the coast. It goes to the sea. Yeah. So it's really hilly in Cornwall, like up and down constantly. So yeah. it's a lot flatter here. This is so pretty though. So nice. What did you just say? Alex said something very strange. Can you see me? It's very sunny this way. Yeah. What did you just say? You know when you take gloves off and your hands feel really small? No, I don't. Does anyone else? Comment below. There's something wrong with you then. So what are you saying about dreams? I used to have weird dreams when I was young. Yeah? <laughs> that my hands had gone really small and I had to carry really big... That must mean something. <laughs> if anyone knows about dreams, what does that mean, having small hands? Because I know losing a teeth means you're keeping something from somebody or you're lying about something. What? Yeah. Is that, is that true? Apparently. Or is that just... I mean, it's whether you believe in, believe in dreams meaning something or not. Is it like... What are, you go to a psychic and they'll tell you what you're doing. Well, there's psychology behind it, yeah. Where there is actual psychology. Kind of, not really, it's debated. <laughs> it's like some people believe dreams mean something, some people don't, you know? Okay. So what does small hands mean? <laughs> My hands even that small? You've got very lovely hands for a man. Most men have like... All right. Well, they do, most men have like a crackly, gross mm. hands that are really old and just dirty. Your hands are like the softest hands ever. Yeah. Candle-making hands. <laughs> You've got good hands. So I've enjoyed the beautiful view. Can't see anything. <laughs> and yeah, I think we're gonna go back down now. I thought we'd go up. Up? Can't go up. We're up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Noodle, hummus, Maddie. Look how good that looks. In come the carrots. This color. Yum. This is a good post-cycle ride for me, yeah. isn't it? There's a recipe on my channel, by the way. There is a recipe on your channel. Yeah, for this, for satay. We were trying to shred the carrot Whoa. with a potato peeler. Yeah, and then I realized <laughs> it's so much quicker to do it with just a cheese grater. We don't normally eat carrots. No, I'm really fussy about carrots. We haven't bought them in ages. Because they're not really something that I love. They're really cheap. And if yeah. there's certain ways that I hate carrots, like just plain old chopped roasted carrots, I'm just not a fan. But when you, there's a specific way no. that they do taste good. I like it in a soup or dipped in hummus. Or like, yeah, dipped in hummus or, or like this. Yeah. I feel like it'd be good. That looks so good. Mm. So colorful. Yeah. Let's see if the noodles are ready. Let's see them. Okay, this is becoming a bit too healthy now. What do you mean? Watch out for the kind of gross bits. Uh, of you can't taste This is the thing, okay, you can't fine. taste it when it's in a nice sauce. <laughs> Vegetables, you can't taste it. Alright, let me have a, have a taste of the satay. Dip, 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 dip. Mm. Is it good? Does it, does it need anything else? More Ooh. of anything? Oh, that's spicy. Is it? Yeah. Nummy, nummy. So. Nummy! Never, never! So, you have and rice. Yeah. Because Maddie's now gluten intolerant. I'm not gluten intolerant. I just have a sensitive stomach. I'm really sensitive. Um, you are sensitive, I'll give you that. I think, sadly, probably because of my eating disorder that I had for so many years, my, it's made my stomach very sensitive. So I'm not gluten intolerant, but gluten, you know, it can just, it's not, well, it if can you have make it people feel a bit bloated. When you have it three meals a day, you feel so, bad. So yeah, there was a couple yeah. of days in a row I was having it for breakfast and lunch. And then there was one day I think I had it for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And I, I was like, what's going on with my stomach in the evening? It was literally huge. Yeah. <laughs> and yesterday I didn't have any and my, my stomach was fine, so I'm not gluten intolerant by any means, but I just think that some people, they have too much of it, it affects them. And some people are celiac and they can't have it at all. 
so I'm just one of those people who, it, I'm sensitive to it. Gosh, that's quite a lot of food. This wasn't even that elaborate to make, we only started making it like 15 minutes ago. Stir fries are great in that sense. Yeah. Why we cook them so much. Right, do you know, do your noodles and then we can do it Do my out. noodles, okay. Oops. Oops. Gosh, it smells so... Mm. So very delicious. Final shot of your rice. It's good. It's good. This is the amount of lunch you need after a bike ride. How is it? I'm gonna do this and I'm like, <laughs> I'm waiting for Alex to get out of the shower. Cause I need the toilet. <laughs> you done in the shower, Alex? Yeah. Yay. Yeah, I said earlier, I said oh, I'd talk a bit more about hitting 100K. And I'm just so excited. I know I mentioned, I said it earlier, but I'm just so excited. I can't believe that 100,000 people have decided that they like my videos enough to subscribe, to see them regularly. Like 100,000 people, if I even tried to think about how many people that is, it is mind boggling. It's just surreal, especially as somebody who, when I started YouTube, I quit my job to work part, work for my mum and to get going on YouTube and I thought why the hell not and I viewed like 10,000 as like the most incredible idea and I just thought you know what if I even have just 10,000 followers then that would be incredible because I could actually reach some people and I could spread the vegan message I could you know help people out and that would be incredible and I remember thinking Oh my gosh, imagine one day if I'd ever hit 100,000. I remember thinking that's just not possible, but also kind of feeling like that would be the ultimate goal and thinking that's when you're really like serious. That's when people take you seriously. That's when like you're, you can actually make it your career and it's actually your job. And like it's happened in two years and it's just, I know like lots of people hit like even like a million in like a year or some people hit like 100,000 in a year and it's not a big deal, but to me it's such a huge deal and I'm so proud of myself and proud of all the hard work I've put in and it's just amazing. So I can't quite believe it. It's really strange, but really cool. I'm so happy. I'm just having that moment where I'm reflecting on where we're at now and how everything that I wanted has like come true, like the reality that I dreamt up has happened and it's kind of surreal to be living here, working on YouTube, both of us doing it together, and that's our job, and we live the dream. I'm so grateful, I'm so happy. So thank you for helping making that a reality because you're watching us, and that's a huge, huge part of it. So thank you, and I'm just, yeah, I'm feeling pretty damn great today. I think we're gonna go and celebrate and go out to eat this evening. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I've been enjoying going out into Brighton more recently and doing more downtime stuff rather than just being a hermit every single day and working at home. It's been really nice and I'm excited for it to get sunny and warm so it doesn't seem such a chore getting outside. I think that's kind of normal isn't it in the winter you want to just stay in. Alex I need the toilet! There's a naked Alex. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you look like a freshly hatched chicken. You always say that. You do because look at your hair. <laughs> Am I still just, naked? Why are you eating? Um, oh, the B12 strain. Yeah, I was using the other one. <laughs> Peppermint tea. Uh, let me use the toilet now. Enjoy. She calls for FHM. She like my black LV. I know all the words, obviously. I got my visa and my visa. Hadiva and Hadila. We're going out. <laughs> So we've come into town again. We're always in town recently. It's like a two times in two days. I mean in the vlog. Yeah. Um, and we're in London town the other day. We've come into town on a busy Saturday night. It's all going on. <laughs> and we're going to the cinema again to celebrate me hitting 100K. And we're going out to eat. We're going to a place called Bombay Alu, which is a vegetarian Indian. And it's a buffet, so I'm excited. That's the main thing. Yes. <laughs> playing at. He's got like right. two things on his plate. I've already started. <laughs> I'm winning this one. Take two. So I'm winning. You haven't eaten it yet. I will. Does it get any better than deep fried potato? <laughs> Thank you. 
You're gonna do it. I gave up halfway through and Alex, you might have seen, he dug into mine. We don't like we don't like this one, it's carrots. And then it's got this much left. Will he do it? If you'll remember from the scene before where Maggie said she was beating me in the bucket. Yeah, I lost. I had like half of mine, maybe even just a third. You may have just done it. Now you gotta finish this off. And you've gotta eat these three carrots. <laughs> I had another bargee. Why did you do that to yourself? Because they're so good. <laughs> I so rarely get the chance to have Does that mean bargie. you're so full that I get to eat all the snacks that are in the backpack? I'll be fine in like 10 minutes. <laughs> right, so what do you think? How much would you rate it out of 10? Give it an 8. And what do you reckon? I would give it a 6. Ooh. It was good for affordability and yeah for it Portion being really size. quick and yeah, having a buffet that's convenient. Yeah. But the actual food, all the curries tasted exactly the same. Yeah. They were none of them were spicy and I love spicy food. Yeah, the food like normally when I go to normally when you go to an Indian place, and especially like no, on my experience with vegetarian Indian places that are really authentic, they're normally really good. Just always tend to be good. And I could I that place I don't know. There were quite a lot of Indian people in there. Yeah, but it just the, the food wasn't very flavorful. That's true. That's that's kind of what it said online. Like really good price, food not so flavorful. No, and normally uh, Indian curry is so I didn't flavorful. Like that it was quite oily, but I did like that. Like ninety five percent of it was vegan. So yeah, that's a plus too. Which is much more than I was expecting to be. Honest. So it's really convenient to go to to get a good vegan meal, yeah. but not the tastiest. And if you go there after 9 p.m. it's only four pounds. Yeah, so cheap. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'd only go back if it was kind of like convenience. That's why I'd go back for convenience. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. But I did enjoy it. Yeah, so did I. I always enjoy food. Can't complain, it was a good meal. But um, I like to kind of let you guys know if you're ever considering going to places because there is such a, a plethora of options in Brighton Well, we need to start going out food. and reviewing every one, don't Exactly, we? that's kind of what I want to tell you. Not to complain because it was really good, but just like to let you know. I would rate like Purezza and Terra Terra as my faves so far. Shaky cam. So my hand gets weak and then I'm like going low and low. Yeah, I'd rate Purezza and Terra Terra. Terra Terra is by far the best place. Yes. That we've eaten. And hope and glory. Oh no, hope and ruin. Hope and ruin, good for junk food. Or I shouldn't say that, I'm trying not to say that word. <laughs> for some dirty treat food. Yep. Some really good burgers and stuff. Kebab. Terra Terra's like a nice posh meal. And then Purex has a great pizza. So there's yep. our reviews. Now we're going to go to the Odeon. 593. 593? Oh, Six. that does not work. <laughs> <laughs> Five, nine, three. Six, three, one. Six, three, one. Two, four, four. Two, four, four. Six. Six. Enter. Enter. Please wait while printing your tickets. Now wait until they fly out here. No, don't. Watch them fly out. <laughs> Everyone's camping out this for the like screen. Black Panther. That's what we're going to see. <laughs> Walk like a panther. Everyone's waiting to get in. Funny. Because for some reason you can't pre-book. You can't reserve a seat. I don't know why. Later that same evening. <laughs> we just got home and that movie. Oh my gosh. Literally, it was absolutely incredible. If you have, like, I know that we've been going on about the greatest show, showman, but... <laughs> Did you say showman? Again? I nearly went to say showman. But Black Panther, if you're going to go see something in the cinema, you need to see Black Panther. I just, I, like, Alex loves his comic book movies, and I get a bit fed up of them because they have the same themes, they have the same people, the same ideas, and it gets very tiring and boring to me. And I loved it when Wonder Woman came out because it was a female lead. And then this was incredible because it was an all, pretty much all black cast, which is mm. just so cool for Hollywood. For a movie of that scale, is huge. And I was saying to Alex, it's like the first comic book movie. Oh, Wonder Woman actually touched on a lot of history. There's even mm. like really badass moments with women where <laughs> like women were just so much smarter than the men and just all the actors were 
amazing. I find like some comic book movies just too cheesy and just kind of samey. The, the older ones were a bit like that. Yeah. They're getting a bit like smarter now. Yeah. It said, I think I go, it just said it was like the fourth, was it the fourth? Fourth biggest superhero opening day in history. Which is it's not bad. Amazing. So, yeah. And like wasn't the well, eighth biggest opening day ever. And wasn't Wonder Woman really successful as well? Well yeah. And I just think that if you take comic book movies as an example, you think that people want one thing. They just want like, you know, blokes in tight clothing, like white blokes in tight clothing That's saving women. And it's just not the case because people want to see well, different while, things. After a while people get bored of that. It's nice to have women represented, it's nice to have black people represented, it's nice to have... I just feel like they need to have... they need to continue diversifying what we see on screen and that's that was why that movie mm. was so good. Also just being an incredible movie. It was very good. Yes. Wholesome. It was so good. Apart from I literally hot. loved it. It's it was similar. boiling hot, wasn't yeah. it? Which is weird, cinema's so normally freezing. Mm. So yeah, go see Black Panther. What would you give it out of 10? 10, 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> Honestly, there was not a moment where I wasn't like gripped to my seat. Just like, I loved it. Anyway, we're gonna stop blabbing about a movie that you probably haven't seen yet. Yeah. And just go see it. There's another one. We saw the poster for another movie called Isle of Dogs. That looks Wes good. Wes Anderson movie. That looked really weird. It Wes like, Anderson is weird. It looked like it could be really creepy, but I don't think it is. No, Wes but, Anderson's really funny. I know, but like the trait, it looked like creepy and Right, we've talked dogs. for four and a half minutes, well, so we well, need to go. Uh, this little thing called editing, I can do that if I want to. I'm gonna keep this in there. <laughs> what? It's sarcasm. <laughs> Good night. Good night. We'll see you whenever we see you. Can I focus on. Oh, I can. Nice. Now we need to get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. Oh, I shouldn't take that long. <laughs> Good night. Oh, oh, that's warm. <laughs>